Hello friends, this is Pradeep with one more video on Excel filters. Before I start this filter, let me tell you that this is not a normal filter which is available in Excel. This is a custom filter which I have created that works on Excel. Here, uh, let me also tell you that I have not used even a single line of VBA code. I have done entire thing using Excel features and Excel functions. Let me tell you what exactly this is all about. Here I have the data of all the journalists who have been killed since year 1992 in all different countries. Here if I choose any country it should give me the list of all the journalists who have got killed. So if I select Colombia now see you can see the list of all the journalists who died in Colombia. If I switch it over to uh, Tanzania it gives me the details of all the uh, records so uh, luckily Tanzania did not have any journalist killed so I select Bahrain and see these are the two unfortunate uh, people who have got killed in this data what I've done already is I have got the unique list of all the countries here filtered out here this I have done using the remove duplicate feature next thing that I've already done is I have got the sequence I have marked every row with a number. So I've created a series of 1, 2, 3, 4 which uniquely identifies each row. So it starts with 1 and goes till 986 till the last record is available. One more thing is already done here is this combo box. Whatever you select in this combo box that is now available in this cell that is Z3. So if I have to select any country, I'll just come here and select the country and that value will be available in this cell. How do we get the data filtered? First of all, here now since I see that Afghanistan is the country, I want to find out all the record or row numbers of all the records which belongs to Afghanistan. The first step in this procedure is you should be using the array function. Now I want to filter the records of all the people who are in Afghanistan. So in order to do that, the first step will be to find out the records or row numbers of all the records which belongs to Afghanistan. So how am I going to do that? In order to do that, I have to write an array function. Now first thing, if you have to write an array function over a range of cell, you must first select that range. So how am I going to select that range? I'll just cop copy this column and paste it in the next column now see the entire column is selected i'll delete it because i don't need that uh, uh, th that sequence again but i just need that column to be selected so i had only two options either to select them manually or to do it this way now i'm going to write a very simple if function and that is equal to if now i'll switch over to the country column and i'll select the entire country column after selecting that i'll freeze it now i'll compare this entire country column with afghanistan i'll freeze this as well so i'm comparing the entire entire country column with the value which is currently selected in this combo box now if this condition is true then i need the row number which i can get it from here so here i have written all the row numbers i'm gonna freeze this as well now whichever record does not match with Afghanistan or whichever record which record or journalist that does not belong to Afghanistan should be showing the blank cell now how do we end end this array function by pressing control shift enter now here you will see that uh, uh, these records do not belong to Afghanistan. So here you have got one record which is 100, at 106th row. There is one record that belongs to Afghanistan. So let's check that out. So here the country is Afghanistan. See the country we have correctly identified that this uh, record belongs to Afghanistan. Now let's check it out with some other record. I'll select any other country. Let's say Argentina or maybe uh, let's say Brazil okay so these are the records now my second requirement is I have now identified the records which are to be filtered these are the records 
But now what I want to do is I want them in one sequence. So here if it is 5, here I need 10, here I need 13, here I need the other record. So I want them without having gaps in between. So I want to remove all these gaps. So in order to do that, I'm going to write one more function which is equal to small. Now I will select the entire column and in this column I'll freeze it comma k k is nothing but a position so I want first position second position third position so I'm gonna select this cell so now see here it gives me the smallest value which is available in this range now if I need second smallest value I'll just drag it down so here this is the second smallest value available in this column so like this I can drag this till the end so now I have got the row numbers of all the records which are to be filtered out. But if I look at the bottom, it also gives me the error message, which I do not want. So what I'll do is I'll enclose this function within if error function. And now I'll replace all the error messages with double inverted comma. So now I press enter and people, this is not a control shift enter technique. This is normal. Uh, enter now see you will uh, you will find that all the records which are did not be filtered they were showing error messages earlier but now those error messages have been replaced by this double inverted comma so I have now got the uh, record of all the people rec uh, sorry row numbers of all the people who are to be filtered now what I'm gonna do is I'm now going to copy this header since I want this data to be filtered out, I'll put it here. Now, what I'll do in order to get this entire data, I'll write a simple index match function. So first of all, I'll write index function and in that index function, I'll select the entire data, right? So I'll freeze it now. After freezing it, now it is asking me for row number. Row number, I can get it from this column. So I'll here freeze the column, but not the row. So I'll change the dollar sign. Now I need the column number. Now this is column number one, this is column number two, this is column number three, four, five, six, and so on. So rather typing one, two, three, four at the top, what I can do is I can type a function columns. I can write a function columns and I'll select z6 colon z6 close the bracket but I'll freeze the first z6 that is upper limit of this range but not the lower limit that will give me different column numbers so people uh, you need to understand what is columns function and how does it work which you can see in the next video another video now I'll close this bracket and I press enter now see here I have got the records of all the people who are in Brazil but the problem again is this error messages what I need to do is I'll put these values or formula the entire formula in if error function now I'll close the uh, comma double quote double quote and since the entire range is selected I'll just press control enter to copy this formula in all the cells now people this is how we can create a custom filter but before we end this video let's test if it is working as per our requirement let's see now it is brazil i want burma so there are three records for burma and here i will select for canada two records let's find out us that go that's going to be interesting US has got only few people so this is how we can filter the data hence friends uh, here this was a, a small tip or a, a way to create custom filter in Excel if you like this video please rate it comment it and subscribe to our YouTube channel see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye and take care